this is a thought that has been brought up many times after the Yankees were not interested in Manny Machado and then Bryce Harper. Neither one of those guys got a look by the Yankees when they were free agents because of John Carlos Stanton and his salary and that trade that was made and they couldn't bring you know Garrett Cole John Carlos Stanton and pay Aaron Judge on top of bringing in Bryce Harper they they couldn't do it because of that Stanton contract now we talk about these big deals and these long deals and his free agency and it never works it's working with Bryce Harper and well, the Phillies don't forget he also got hurt too I mean but he got hurt and then came back yep and still hit in the playoffs and was in the World Series hitting home runs. Yeah, I, yes. I mean, there's no question that he is a big-time, big big game player. Yeah. There is no question about that. Um, I think he got off to a little bit of a slow start, but he's been there now, settled in, and now he's like a folk hero. Yeah, he's he's the greatest. And you see last night, he's staring down Arcia, and then he also in the post game goes, that stuff motivates me. He actually said, I'm list- I am listen to WIP, which is the sports talk station, our sister station in Philadelphia, to get motivation from callers calling up and trashing him. I mean, that's the type of guy that he is. And then he goes out there and performs in the biggest moments. So uh, it's just frustrating because the Yankees were supposed to be the team that always got that guy. And when he was available, everybody thought that the Yankees were, would be involved. This is pre-Steve um, Cohen with the Mets, by the way, too. And they weren't involved. And they weren't involved at Ooh. all. And that guy should have been should have been at least in that building with the Yankees. And they should have been competitive with him. It wasn't even like he chose Philadelphia's offer over the Yankees' offer. They didn't even talk to him. You know, they even had him in the building. He's killing the Braves in, yeah. the, uh, in the playoffs, too. I mean, he's batting 481 in seven games against them, five home runs, 10 RBIs. And if OPS means anything to you, which it does to, to a lot of people in baseball, 1.697. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, that is uh, extreme numbers. Extremely okay. good OPS that's uh, I see the eye off, test. The, off the charts hey, OPS. The eye test. A little eye test. I don't need numbers. I could just watch him when he hits dingers off of left-handers like it's nothing. And Damn he's right. a left-handed batter. Boom. Done. All right. So then on top of this, yeah. where all, all these Yankee fans are watching this going, God, we could have had a shot at Bryce Harper. We didn't. Now we're stuck with this roster. You get Hal Steinbrenner talking yesterday. Oof. And giving you nothing. Now, you said exactly what what I have been saying for the last couple of years with the Yankees. The Yankees are always a glass half full approach to what goes on. And it wasn't always that way with this organization. So what they saw last year, not this past season, but last season was we won the division. We made it to the ALCS. And that should be good enough. What the realistic baseball fan in New York saw was a team that started off hot, fell apart there for a while, so much so that their manager was banging on the table and screaming, and a team that wasn't even close to competing with the team that has dominated the American League and dominated them for years. And they needed to do something about that. But they decided to come back because, hell, we were in the ALCS and we won the division. Now, as you said, they look at this season like, Look at all the injuries we had. We lost Aaron Judge, and we still finished above 500. Meanwhile, you got all these other teams in the division that were better than they were. I mean, the Baltimore Orioles is pretty. It sucks that they didn't win a playoff game, but still, you got all these teams in the division that are that are better than you, and you feel like this roster is just old and stale. And the best thing that they could give their fans yesterday, when Hal Steinbrenner had a microphone in his hand was we're going to give you a new cafeteria and sleep pods? I mean, the Yankee fan has just got to be infuriated well, by this. This is part of the audit to see what's going on with the present team because they have a lot of contracts that they cannot get out of. Now, they can buy out of some guys or they could trade some guys. But remember, this is a team that lost how many starting pitchers during the regular season on top of losing uh, Aaron Judge for a long period of time. And, you know, listen, Stanton was a waste. And he didn't do anything uh, to, to be able to camouflage any of these other shortcomings. But this team, at you know, being over 500 with, I think, four or five of their starting pitchers being either out of the lineup completely or in and out of the lineup and being extremely inconsistent, plus the injury of Aaron Judge, cost this team probably a good 15 sure. 
15 games. Right. I would say 15 games. All right, so here, here's my response to that because that's okay. what they'll say is, look, we had all these injuries with starting pitchers. Okay, and that, to me, is a Brian Cashman issue because he brought in guys and kept guys who had a history of injury problems. Carlos Rodon, history of injury problems. He's going to be here. ain't going anywhere. They traded for Frankie Montas while he was hurt. He's going to be here, and he ain't going anywhere. Luis Severino is a guy they could have moved on from. He had a palatable salary. He's hurt every single year. He comes back. He's always hurt. Um, Domingo Herman. Domingo Herman had an issue with domestic violence and alcohol abuse. They stood by him. They brought him back. More alcohol abuse. So... You could sit there and say, all these guys got hurt. What are we supposed to do? Nestor well, Cortez. You, yeah, ne well, Nestor, Nestor is one that you could actually defend from a cash well, standpoint. Just, yeah, but I'm just, I'm just telling you, <laughs> but they the spent the money. Like, guys. People say they're not spending the money. Number one, they were the second highest paid team in baseball. But it's who you're spending the money on. I know. On. I understand that. So they spent the money on these guys, and they're not getting rid of the guys. They're all coming back next year. So now they got to make sure they sleep better and they eat better and they behave and they, they're they being adults about, you know, showing up and giving a damn. Yeah. Holy crap. I don't know what to tell you. I, 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 it, what, what are we, are, are they, we even on? They spent the money. Yeah. And they basically, for every dollar that they spent, the amount of injuries that they had, there was no way they were able to overcome it. Every year for the last five years, I feel like maybe even longer than that, but I just feel like it's like the last five years, this team gets besieged by injuries early in the season, and then Brian Cashman somehow pulls a feather out of his ass and finds somebody like a Gio Orshella or a Didi Gregorius or, uh, you know, um, uh, the guy that was here that should have won the Rookie of the Year. Um, uh, and Duhar. And Duhar, yeah, and Duhar. I mean, like, every now and then he finds those guys and somehow keeps the thing going. I don't know how the hell they do half of it. Yeah, but... Like, I our team spends $350 million, and they suck 50 games into the season. Yeah, they're terrible. Yeah, they're... I mean, so, like, when I compare the two teams and who does what and who spends what money on who, I, the, the fact that the Yankees actually did stay relevant to a certain point when Aaron Judge got back... Compared to the Mets, who were out of it in June. Yeah, well, you completely just flipped your opinion from earlier, though, because you said that they needed to do more this off season, be and they're going to just say, uh, "Hell, I, we just yeah, made it over five hundred. The fact that they came out and start talking about sleeping and eating and making it nicer for the players—that that thing is off-putting. I well, will tell you that. Right. So, like, so my my overarching point that I'm not sure I'm getting across to you is that. These guys being hurt can't be an excuse when the general manager was a guy who brought in people with a history of injury. And you can't be surprised to say that they got hurt again. So what people want to hear is, they want to hear is, we got to get a different general manager. We got to get fresh eyes on this organization. And we can't just keep making injury excuses. That's did, did, what I'm trying did, to did get Did the Yankees fan, when, uh, Aaron, um, when Carl, uh, Giancarlo Stanton was uh, brought in, Mm -hmm. Were they happy that they brought him in? Yeah, it's not what I'm talking about. Well, I just hold on. I'm just I'm I'm just trying to think about different things that happened when came off happened. an MVP season. Yeah, when, when they hap when that happened. Yeah, yeah. Everybody was happy. Yeah. Okay. Number two, when they signed Garrett Cole, they had to have Garrett Cole. Were people happy with that? Yeah. Okay. When they brought in the machine, DJ Lemayu, and he was great. Where where, where every, everybody was happy about extending his contract. Yeah, there's good right, moves right, in there as well. Right, right. Yeah, so we'll right. get to the point. Well, my point is, is that they've spent the money. They've spent it on players, unfortunately, who have not been able to stay healthy, including their 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 shining star, Aaron Judge, who you know makes an unbelievable play out at Dodger Stadium mm -hmm. and then is out for the next two months. Yeah. And they spent a godload of money on him, and they had to do that because if they didn't keep him, and he ended up with the Giants or the Padres. Could you imagine what this team would be yeah, like? Yeah, no, of course. I, yeah, all that. Is that Aaron? Is that is that uh, Brian Cashman's fault that Aaron Judge got hurt? No, but you started this conversation by saying that five, six of the rotation got hurt, and my they response did. to that was what it was, and then you took it to another level and didn't tell, like, like I'm. You started this by saying <laughs> all their pitchers got hurt, and I told you that's not. 
a good enough excuse because Brian Cashman brought in guys with a history of injury. That is my point. Not the Aaron Judge thing, not DJ, Le- not on any so, of that so, stuff. All right, so let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let's, let's get a fresh set of eyes on this thing right now. Yeah. Well, but let's, uh, I, let, let, let's be the fresh set of eyes. Why mm-hmm. can't we be the fresh set of eyes? Well, we have been for I, I told Bri- Brian Cashman should have been gone prior okay. to this season because right, his contract ran out. They gave him a four-year deal. All right, so right now. Well, they gave a four-year deal because they came off the playoffs. Oh, my God. See, this is – but here we go again. They came off the playoffs <laughs> when they got swept by the Astros. Are they, are they like – do you like the way the Dodgers are set up? Well, they're not winning enough championships. But, yeah, I mean, they, I mean they, they're, they're, they're the consistently thing. consistently the there. Yeah, well, I if mean, I was doing Yankees sports talk in L.A., show. then I would probably be saying these things. But I'm not. <laughs> So what do you want? I'm just saying that you, you want know, Brian Cashman to be here till he dies. Every, no, I didn't say that. I'm not. Sounds a Yankee, like it. I'm not a Yankee fan. I'm just. I'm trying to look at it without the emotion of the fan. Like I'm a. I'm a Ranger fan. So I go into tonight's opening game, kind of ambivalent about this team. All right, I am emotionally invested in the team. I'm financially invested in the team. This is my team that I root for. That I. It's appointment TV watching for me but I still have the remnants of last year in my gut, which pisses me off. And they changed five guys out. Basically five new guys will be wearing the Jersey tonight, but the top six guys are the same, essentially mixed and matched differently. Maybe the goalie's the same. There's one new defenseman that we have. Everybody else is the same back there. And they, as a fan, I, I, you know, and I think Chris Drew is trying to do everything that he wants to do. Just kind of like Brian Cashman is trying to do everything he wants to do. Did he invest the right money in the right people? You know, and that's really what it comes down to. And is this is this team going to earn my trust back again and earn my fandom and my emotions back again? Or am I just going to be ambivalent about it if they start out slow the first 10 games of the season? Anthony's in the Bronx. What's going on, Anthony? Yeah, Boomer, you got to stop apologizing for this team. The, the Tampa Bay Rays lost Jeff Springs, Shane McClanahan, Tyler Glass now for half the year, Drew Rasmussen for the whole year. They won 90-something games. Again, so everything Gio's saying is right. The Yankees brought in these players. Somebody has to be responsible for it. You can't just make excuses for the guys that Brian Cashman brought in and then say, well, there's really nothing you can do about it. There is something you could do about it. They have to do something about it. Uh, what would you like them to do about it? Just eat all the contracts and start over? If that's the best thing for the organization, then of course. Uh, so, what about Aaron Judge's contract? You okay with that? No, he he's yeah, he's fine. All right, There's not, okay. he's the one that's fine. He, he listen, Brian Cashman made a lot of bad moves, and now they're an 82 win team with two really good players and 25 not so good players. Did you think their so their bullpen was pretty good this year? It doesn't, Boomer. You're going to make these points to, I guess, apologize again. I'm not apologizing for anything. I'm just, why why do you think I'm apologizing? I'm not apologizing. I say that, you know, I'm apologizing for that. I'm just giving you the facts. Why can't you get the facts through your head? Well, my facts, my facts are straight, Boomer. I don't know about yours, but my facts, my facts show that Aaron Judge was hurt. Uh, uh, What's his name? LeMayu was hurt. Rizzo got hurt. Four out of the starting five pitchers got hurt. Tampa Bay win 98 games. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a Tampa Bay. I don't sit there and I don't watch Tampa Bay. They could do it, but my point is, if they could do it, why are the Yankees? um, Why is it okay the Yankees can't do it, but Tampa Bay can? I mean, did the Yankees go deeper in the playoffs than the the Rays did last year or two years ago? Who's a better organization right now? Who's better? Tampa, who's the smarter organization? Uh, I would say, well, Tampa works with less. Oh, that, so? There's no question that they work with less. I would, I would agree with that. I would but say the Diamondbacks better? work Just with ask, less. I would say that know. the Orioles work with less. I would but, say pretty yes, much but, but 99.9% of all the teams in Major League Baseball work with oh, less so than the Yankees. Then what is, but, but they're going through, you're making excuses like, well, they had all these injuries. Tampa Bay had the same injuries. So, so, so Tampa they lost four of their starting five pitchers. They lost yeah, their best player in terms no, of Aaron Judge. And they have about a quarter of the financial resources of the Yankees. Right, and they lost their first baseman. And their, uh, they and, lost everybody. It's right. every year. They go through the same thing. Well, every, every, every team year. goes through it. Don't talk about it. Well, I mean, the Diamondbacks, yeah. look at them now. So when was the last time that they were this good? Well, where, what's the point of all this, Boomer? I don't know. You tell me. I'm just telling you that these I'm, guys are injured and they have long-term I'm, contracts and you want enough. them to buy everybody but out. They're not going to.
going to do that. But Gre- Greg is telling you that's not good enough because first, and he's making great points because these are injury laden players before you acquire them. So who's responsible for that? Brian Cashman. Well, uh, well of course, gonna... Brian Cashman. That's and if that's Brian it. Cashman and his group of people in his, you know, baseball operations office. I, I don't know what to tell you that, you know, by the way, uh, you know, Montas and Rodon, I think, are both 30 years old. That's not old in baseball. Well, when you don't pitch, it doesn't matter how old you are. And neither one of those yeah, guys but they're pitch. not 38 years old. Okay. Yeah, I mean. No, but Garrett Cole's actually, Garrett Cole, I should say, is, is older than both of those guys. Yeah. Okay. But he's healthy. <laughs> and he's pitching. And he's available. So I don't care how old you are. Be available. And pitch well. You know, it's kind of what, what it reminds me of. It reminds me of what happened to the Giants last week. Their offensive line is completely decimated. And who pays the price for it is the quarterback, and then everybody starts screaming and yelling that nobody's doing anything about the offensive line when, in fact, they have been trying to work. They drafted a center. They drafted a left tackle. They drafted a right tackle. They bring Stop in free agents. Stop it with the offensive line. I, I mean, line. it's the same thing that is happening to or happened to the Yankees is happening to the Giants.